Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be drawing a character based off passion fruit. So let's get into the video. off by looking up some references in Google. Then I try to draw a realistic drawing of a passion fruit. I actually rather enjoy doing this. Maybe I should do realistic art more often. Then I moved on to the character. I wanted to have a, a lot of round shapes in this and I wanted to include the seats. I like to simplify things a lot for my illustrations as they are rather cartoony. So I think the biggest characteristics of a fashion group are the inside, like the seats, the colour and like the sh overall shape. So I tried to include those three things in this illustration. I don't think the skirt of the first illustration really shows the roundness, it looks very long <laughs> and I don't really like it very much. Also, the hand is really weird. I don't know what the pose is, but I tried. I got, I kept getting really, really distracted here. I had YouTube playing in the background, well, it was supposed to be in the background, but I, kept, I clearly kept stopping to watch what it was there for. I finally stopped getting distracted and actually was doing what I was supposed to be doing. I changed the design a little bit. I put the seeds on the top part instead and you don't really see the holes on the skirt. But I was kind of imagining it to be shorter and I removed the clutch from her hair. I also changed the colour of her hair. I also decided to practice a, and change a bit of the colour before I moved on to the next illustration. Here I kind of wanted to put the seeds on the top again. No, on the skirt. Because I liked it better than when it was on the top. I also tried to make the sleeves look see-through but I don't think I quite managed that. There was only one time I ever managed to make the top kind of look a bit see-through. Um, it was like last year, I think it was like when I was doing Octo Inktober and I was doing like a sporty person and she was wearing like one of those really cool sports netting tops and it actually kind of looked like what it was supposed to be. But anyway, I then moved on to the next illustration, which I think was one of the best out of all of these. Clearly because it's the last one I had a bit more practice. So I think that also helped. So I think I kind of managed to make the sleeves look kind of see-through here. Sort of. Um, I decided to line this one. Again, I'm getting distracted. And put a background. Just to kind of pull it together make it look a little bit more cohesive. I really enjoyed this.